What's good YouTube, it's your boy RJ back again with another video. Today is just gonna be like a really, really calm, chill vlog. I'm gonna go out and link one of my friends. We're supposed to go with a few of my friends. Um, just doing some Valentine's Day shopping. Went to take y'all along, get some good context, see what's going on. But um, yeah, it's about to be like three right now. It's supposed to be linking around like four. And then um, we're gonna see what we can find. Stuff like that, yada yada yada. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I hope all you guys are doing well. Shout out to everybody who's been liking, commenting, supporting, all of that. Like, I see it whether you texting me, commenting, liking, sharing my posts, uh, sharing my link, like to the videos, whatever. I see all of it, and I just want to say I appreciate it. Everybody who is doing that, and um, Bambi, want to come say hi? Bambi, say thank you too, y'all. Let get it, let go, enjoy the video. A little bit of a drip check, you feel me? Mask gotta match the shoes, you feel me? But we out. So yeah, we outside now. Camera kinda blurry. It's whatever, I don't got time for this to focus. Actually, I know, I'm gonna need you to focus. I think the um, lens is a little dusty, but that's okay, actually. That's actually a lot better. But yeah, we finally outside now, we on the way to go get me and my friend. And, uh, yeah, I just want to say, if you got dreams, go chase them, you know? Like, go full on out, do what you got to do and chase them. Don't settle. You never have to settle. What is like, hey, yeah, Be on a serious note, go chase your dreams. Like, if you needed to hear that, or you needed a sign, this is your sign to get up and go do what you want to do in life. Because, like, realistically, again, it's, it's your life, so you kind of got to make the most out of it. I just want to show you, I'm actually listening to like lo-fi beats while walking and it's probably one of the best things, best decisions ever made my life. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is probably the hardest part now, is trying to find where to meet somewhere. I don't know where to go from, so when I find them, I'll let y'all know. They bring my camera to vlog. But being inside makes me kind of like anxious, so I'll just look to my phone for now. Okay. But, uh, but I was thinking about when you told me, I didn't, I was confused about what you was talking about. Pretty mature, isn't it? Yeah, I was getting ready to say that's not, that's not really mature. <laughs> I think the other two would be better for something like her. Like her one. How old is she? Oh, okay. Is, but every time I'm in the store, I feel like they always think I'm stealing. Yeah, but I, I, I just always feel like that. Like, I, I don't know. And I work in retail, so it's like, I don't know. Hey, yeah, we're back to body work right now, doing some downtown day shopping. He got something for his sister right now. Um, just, you know, we just call him, you know, look around and see what we can find. Yeah. Yeah, this spot is like so low key. As you see, it's booming because everybody in here too. I remember when it opened, everybody was in here. Like the first day. I don't know. They like sleeping. I'm gonna have to get. Not gonna lie, every time I walk in this store, it just makes me feel so peaceful. Like. I don't know, like all the colors and stuff. Like this is mad calm in here. And they got like all like any type of knickknack you can think of. This video is not sponsored by this video, like. <laughs> so I'm not gonna tell you the name, y'all not gonna know where it's at. But um this store got a lot of like nice little knickknack type stuff. But yeah, I got my stuff and I'ma call y'all. I said I'ma call y'all, I'm gonna see y'all in a second. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Alejandra! Yeah. Exactly. Or like, even if you do go through without whatever, like, you know, the, the general studies, like, I forgot what the actual, like, major is, but you know, the general studies where you do, like, kind of a little bit of everything. Realistically, when you graduate college, 
what do you what do you specify? It's just as if you just went through high school again. So in terms of the real world, the real working world, you don't really get into nothing. Or like even if you do, like it's like realistically like a lot of people be going through it when you whenever like say I stuck with engineering all the way through. I graduated seven years doing the doing the three for five and then the extra two years, whatever program I was doing while I I would have graduated and then where what what job can I quickly get here in New York City engineer like it doesn't work that way either way and then i'm gonna have to you know do like a few years working saving and all of that and looking for opportunity and then i'm exactly and then on top of that now i have debt from college when i can just cut that shortcut real quick and just figure it out now because i don't know necessarily what i would want to do to like to where i would need college like if i figured out okay i want to be a teacher then okay go to college if i figured out i want to do medical something something in the medical field then okay i'm gonna go to college but if i don't know what i want to do right now i'm not wasting my money without like money i don't have for real to like just be able to just kind of like coast like that like but that's just genuinely how like i feel like at first like people wasn't understanding like I, and when i say people i mean in terms of like adult figures in my life didn't really understand what i was saying it was it was never the fact that like I didn't care about college or it was like, oh, I'm not going out or I'm going to just drop out because, you know, after the school system or something like that. It was never like that. It was just, I'm wasting my time. Like, why would I do, in what sense is that? Unless you want, unless you want to pay out of pocket for me, then by, then by all means, then by all means, um, then, I, then I'll be there. Like, everybody wants you to be in college, but they don't want to help you do it. Exactly. <laughs> Like I'm not, yeah. Like I'm, I'm not gonna even lie. Like my half a semester that I did away at school before the pandemic hit, that was really hard. I'm not even gonna lie. Like not only like, I was in a relationship. I was, however many hours away from home, I was out there virtually by myself for real. Cause I didn't go out there with none of my friend friends for real. Like that I actually hung out with and knew nobody. I was in a like, being a minority in like a PWI virtually like. You know, like that stuff really do get to you. Like, and I've met some great people out there and everything like that, but it definitely do get to you. And it got to me like a good, like two times away at school, like to where I really just like mentally just like collapsed. Like, my friends would even know it could tell you, like it was times where I just disappeared, like because I didn't want to be around. I don't know. It was just like so, so draining. It's just, it was never the fact that it was like, oh, forget school and, and a lot of people just was not understanding that but like as long as my like parents and like my immediate you know understand what i'm like what it is and i really could care less about the outside opinions especially if like they not helping in any kind of way but i don't know like i was telling my advisor at school because i mean I do, I do school. yeah so i was i was doing engineering i was like i don't think i want to do this anymore and she got mad to shit you're like, I think you're gonna waste your potential type shit. Yeah. I'm like, but this is not what I wanna do. Like, I understand it's profitable, I can make money. Yes. Like, I'm gonna be miserable my whole life. I'm not gonna exactly, that's exactly <laughs> how I feel, bro. I'm like, yeah, I got the capability of doing it. Yeah, I got the, I can, but I don't want to. I'm like, I wanna go into construction management. Yeah. Dude, they're a lot different than a lot of the schools. Mm. They cause me strict just lives. Because mm. like, I'm doing shit. I mean, this is what I actually like to do. Yeah. Like, right now is the first time I've ever been in college that I say I genuinely like going my body. And that's good. Like, that makes me, like, hearing <laughs> you say that makes me really happy because a lot of people are stuck in that unhappy kind of place. Like, like but that definitely, I feel like it definitely makes you drive more to do, you know, yeah, like, like, your work and stuff like study, that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And just, well, the, I'm just walking across and going across because this is what I got to do. Exactly. <laughs> and that's exactly how I was feeling too. So, like, you literally understand what I'm saying because it's like, in, just in terms of, like, you actually do find your passion, but through college. I just find mine without it. Whereas right now, I'm still studying to do what I got to do so I can understand what I want to do just the same way you're using college to do that. So, it's like the same thing, but my point is, was that you just, like, you don't always need college like unless you do need it you don't like it's not for everybody for real and i understand when they say that like it's not the fact that i couldn't handle it i was it was i was passing like i was doing great it was that was grades was not an issue it was just how i personally felt like bottom line I literally feel like they picked up the store from the other block and just dropped it because it feels exactly the same. Like it feels exactly the same. You see 12 Pro Max? Oh, right here. We ain't got nothing for the play. Ooh, 
I'm a good face to you. I already have a clear <laughs> glass. I remember when I. That's fine, man. That's why. Right. And them huge bears up there. I never really liked like them inside of chocolate like that, like the regular type things. But I don't know. Literally. All <laughs> oh, loyal men. <laughs> loyal men. <laughs> Amen. Three loyal black men. <laughs> That's a nice blue. So yeah, yeah, we just um all departed. Everybody, you know how we'd be like, you'd be like, alright bro, and everybody leave and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so I'm on my way back home and stuff like that. Three black loyal men getting um the women and their lives gifts and stuff like that but um yeah like i was saying earlier though like chase your dreams do what you gotta do be yourself continue to be yourself like always stay oh this is I'm talking about this this ooh, that one there before apologize for the lighting being so bad but um yeah everybody just did you know just went home and stuff. We always able to get like a little bit of shopping and stuff. Like I was saying, for the for the women in our lives, people we love, stuff like that, and everything. Haven't seen three of my boys in a minute, so it was cool. You know, just catching up, real quick, just talking and stuff like that. As y'all see, but um, yeah, it's actually super super cold. So what I'm actually gonna do is just talk to you guys when I get back home, and um, yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all guys in a second. Exactly. Look at you. Caught on camera. Look at you. Caught on camera. Caught on camera. Get out my bag. So yeah, I'm back home now and everything. I'm just tired. My it's literally freezing outside. Like my hands are like shriveled up. Like it's so cold. But um, I'm home now. Just hope that you guys enjoyed that little vlog, the little Valentine's Day shopping vlog. It was not too crazy, you know what I mean? I, I ended up switching to the phone because it was super crowded, like, in, in the mall and in the stores we was going into. And, um, yeah, that's still something I'm working on is recording in public. So I just was like, instead of holding out a camera, I'm going to just use my phone. So I ended up using my phone and stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, I ended up seeing my boy Santa and DeAndre kick. Talk to them and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really cold and really tired and honestly kind of hungry. But like I was saying, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I got a lot more videos coming on the way. Just felt like vlogging today, so I was like, you know, why not? Um, if you're watching this, if you made it this far in the video, um, thank you so much. Like, I enjoy your support. Thank you for making it this far in the video. I don't know how long this video is going to be. But, um, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and leave a comment. Like, you know what I'm saying? My Instagram's down in the description. And yeah, I love y'all, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Okay, bye.